Design involves a lot of staring. You have to visualize something that doesn't yet exist, but before you can commit it to paper or the computer or reality, you got to imagine it in your head first. I'm trying to decide what I want to do regarding these taillights, but it hasn't quite coalesced in my head just yet. You can come up with sketches and renderings of exactly what you're going to do uh, before you start, but there's always going to be some detail that you're going to have to change on the fly. It's just how it goes. So I'm going to set this aside for now and work on something else while considering my options. I like doing that because it keeps me productive while having a good think about something else. I'm going to need to pull the motor pretty soon so I can get a parts tally and get that all ordered up. So any fabrication that involves the motor sitting in the frame has to get done soon. Thus, I'm going to build a battery box. It's not a tight squeeze, but I need to make sure that the battery box won't come into contact with the drivetrain. So it's going to get done before the motor gets pulled. After a lot of thinking and staring, I've got myself a little template made out of cardboard for the battery box I'm going to make. I'm going to flatten this out so that I can trace it onto a piece of sheet metal and get cutting. So I had a little trouble with the bender there. Uh, unfortunately, the reach just wasn't big enough to you know, finish the piece up, but with a little ingenuity and some hammers, got it pretty close. And the question is, battery's still gonna fit. All right, let's tack it in place. So next day, did a little bit of work off camera, which you can see here, made these little mount pieces uh, that came from the same piece of sheet that the rest of the box came from. Uh, I also threw it in the sandblaster real quick. Cut to that. Really exciting stuff, I know. Uh, so there's not much left to do really, but stick it all together. I'm gonna make a strap that goes over the top here and probably bolts in through the center of that to hold the battery in place. But I'm just gonna get it all welded together for the moment and then I'll think about how I'm gonna do that. I was having a bit of trouble getting these welds to sit nicely, uh, despite grinding and sandblasting and cleaning with solvent and acetone, uh, still was fighting a little porosity. So 
off camera, I, you know, ground some weld out, re-welded it. It took a while, uh, but we're done. And now I've got all of my smaller top pieces fitted up. Uh, it warped a little bit with the heat of all the re-weld, uh, but everything is more or less square. And I'm gonna glue these little bits on top. I managed to figure out what the issue with my porosity in the weld was. Uh, after a lot of trial and error, it turned out actually it was the filler rod. Uh, it's a correct kind of rod for that mild steel, but for whatever reason, it was just creating a mess. Uh, you know, after changing the gas lens on the torch, taking the whole thing apart, putting it back together to make sure there were no leaks, uh, cleaning the material, turned out that it was something simple. So if there's anything to take away from that, it's be methodical about how you approach your problems and then generally the solution will kind of present itself. That being said, this is all welded up. I have this little piece here that I'll drill a couple holes in and that'll serve as the tab to mount under the swing arm. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So I have the battery box roughly in place and use this level to make sure that it was the same as this frame. And now I'm going to tack it in. <clears throat> battery box is all tacked up and once I pull the motor and can kind of access the backside I'll fully weld it but I think that's pretty good for now eventually once the part gets powder coated I'll line the interior with foam uh, so the battery stays put I'll also have to come up with an idea for the strap and I should put a uh, third contact point somewhere on the back side, just uh, so you don't have that lever action. But I want to make sure that whatever I do there isn't going to interfere with me sliding the transmission back in order to remove it. So that's going to require some steering. I do know what I'm going to do with my taillights though. It's Friday afternoon and I was on the computer editing this video that you're watching right now and I was thinking <clears throat> I need something more so I'm gonna pull this battery box off again I'm gonna make that strap so I'll try to knock it out real quick and get home for dinner
while I'm waiting for the welding to cool down, uh, thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you guys stick around and continue to watch BMW build. It'll be done by springtime of 2021. And hopefully if this series goes well, then we'll do a lot more. As always, I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have and please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.